Hello guys, today we're going to take a look at the CQ Control 32 trailer here and what we're really going to do is try and figure out what signals are being sent from the Control 32 tractor back to the trailer to control it and if we can figure that out that'll mean we'll be able to control it from our own tractors. So on a Control 32 tractor we have this little, uh, it's kind of like a headphone jack but it's a little bit smaller on the battery pack and the battery pack would slide in here. So on the back here we have our six pins, they mate to six pins inside the little battery holder there. So those are the wires that connect through to our uh, tractor and they contain the signal, well a few of them are signal, some of them are ground and one of them is the power for the battery. So we looked at that before when we dismantled, I think it was the, the John Deere 6920S. So basically we're going to be trying to uh, intercept the, the data signals this time. So what I've done is take the battery uh, that we had from the Fent 930. If you remember, the little, this little catch was broken off this battery. So I was having a lot of trouble getting the Fent 930 to work because the battery kept kind of moving off the pins. So I completely changed that and put a, a header in there to plug a normal battery in. But uh, for this battery, all I did was wire in a line of header so we can plug this into a breadboard. And we're just going to put this into our trailer. If I put it together properly. So that'll be going into our trailer. Like that. And then we'll be able to plug that into our header. Now, from the Control 32, uh, what was it, the John Deere 6920S we took this board out of, uh, I have this little control board. So, this is the control board we use to figure out the, the, um, the servo signal, and I think we used it to figure out the infrared signal as well. So, we've used it to do this kind of thing a couple of times before. This will be slightly different because when I tried to get the signals the first time on this, it, there was no signals coming out of it. So presumably this sends a signal back or something. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's in the initialization. It uh, hooks up to say that something's connected. But um, all we can do is just give it a go and see can we figure out what's going to happen. So on this board you can see some of the headers are uh, labeled there. So that might help us a little bit. But we'll still have to do a little bit of trial and error to figure out what exactly is going on. But at least we know from this one what the uh, power pins are. So they're going to be exactly the same as these ones because it's exactly the same thing. So uh, this battery would have went in on top of these pins. Or sorry, this, this battery would have gone in on top of these pins like that. So we know from that that the pins are exactly the same. And it's just a matter of lining up the data pins. So to show you what to expect or what we're trying to achieve here, uh, I've put the battery in here. This uh, little trailer here has very handy little buttons here that you can manually control them without needing to connect it to a tractor so we can show exactly what we're expecting to happen. So there's a switch here for up and down and you can see that just raised the back of the trailer. Fairly straightforward. There's a little button here to put on the tail lights. So simple. And you can see there's indicators there. So we'd be hoping that uh, we'd get control of the tail lights and the indicator and the tipping of this trailer. So uh, that's what we're kind of aiming to. We need to figure out what those three signals are. Or maybe there's four signals, an extra one for or it could be one signal for each indicator, one signal for the brakes, and one signal to raise or lower the bed. I'm guessing. We'll have to uh, see what exactly is happening. Okay, well I had to go back to my video where I took apart one of uh, these batteries and uh, from that I'm able to see that uh, going from, I think it's this side, we have ground, VCC, so that's going to power our tractor. Then the ground line is connected to the third pin, so that's obviously ground for our trailer because it's connected to the little uh, headphone jack here, so that's like a four pin headphone jack. So the third one there is ground, 
The next one along is a fused VCC. So that little fuse is going to the VCC. So maybe that's in case there's a short in the trailer that it doesn't damage this board which would be inside the tractor. Then the next pin along and the next one must be signals because they're both connected to the little headphone jack thing as well. So those four wires on the end, these four wires connected to the headphone jack and the two on the end here are connected to the tractor. So they're powerful the tractor and the other four provide the signal to the trailer I guess. So whether it takes power from the trailer or maybe the power line here just tells it that there's a trailer connected I'm not sure but uh, either way those four lines are going to be connected to our trailer so we'll need to connect them across here with some jumper wires. Okay well I have my circuit uh, wired up here I've just put little jumpers between both of the uh, well the CQ control boards so if we give it power here, I'm just using the 3.7 volt battery and the fertilizer spreader here because it's the only one I have charged. And I didn't think I was getting a signal here. Actually, maybe I don't need this now. I didn't think I was getting a signal because uh, this switch wasn't working. So I thought there was something wrong with my wiring. But it turns out if you are using, uh, if you have it hooked up to the PCB, you seemingly have to use the controller so yeah so when you have it hooked up to a tractor these switches don't actually work so so we know our little system here is working at least so that's a good start and next thing we need to do is try to figure out what signals are being sent back and forward. Okay, I have the oscilloscope hooked up here. We have a ground connection. We have a wire connected to the second pin in from the left on the battery, I suppose you could say. So second pin in from the left on the control board. And we're hooked up to the to the controller here. So we have control of the of the trailer. So let's take a look at the trace on the oscilloscope. Okay, so here's our first signal that we're looking at, so the second pin from the left, this one. And you can see it kind of looks a bit like the signal we've seen for the infrared. Now, if I move the trailer, you can see the signal is not moving. The the uh, ones and zeros are remaining the same all the time. So that's the that's moving the trailer up and down. If I turn on the lights, no change, indicator, other indicator, no change. So I'm not sure which board is generating that signal, but uh, it would appear that this signal must be, well, I'm gonna assume that the trailer is generating that signal, and that's telling the CQ Control 32 tractor what trailer is connected. That's my guess. So. I'd imagine this signal is kind of to identify that this trailer is connected as opposed to one of the other attachments that you can have. So I'm guessing that the trailer is generating this signal and then in response the tractor generates the other signal which is going to control it. So let's take a look at the other signal. Okay so the same setup as before we still have control with the uh, controller here only difference is I've changed the oscilloscope signal to the outermost pin on the left of the control board or the left of the battery so let's take a look at that signal now so this is the signal from the outermost pin of the control board and now if we move our joystick to move the trailer we can see that the signal is changing as we move the joystick so the joystick is clearly given positional control to the tipping of the trailer. So you can see the signal moving, or a number of the bits of the signal moving as we move the joystick. Okay, so we leave the joystick in place now. We put the tail lights on. We can see a couple of bits at the left hand side changing. Actually maybe it's just one bit. So it looks like that one bit there controls that 
we tried the indicator that's changing something in the middle anyway try the other indicator So some bits are changing, so we, we've clearly got the signals we need. I'm going to guess that the tractor is generating that one, the trailer is generating the other one. So if we want to make a trailer that can be attached to the CQ tractor, we need to give a signal to the tractor that generates the identification pulse, we'll call it. And then we need to be able to uh, translate the data pulse back from the or ta we need to be able to translate the pulse that the tractor sends back to give us our positional control for our trailer so that's what we need to do so it's going to take me a little bit of time to figure out exactly what all these signals are doing so I think I'll leave this video here and in the next one I'll hopefully have got some sort of Arduino program working that we can actually control something so hopefully we'll be able to control the trailer in the next video but also have the tractor because I still have the Fent 930 with a basically stock uh, control board so we should be able to make that stock CQ Control 32 uh, tractor control one of my trailers so that's what we'll try and do in the next the next episode so if you like that video make sure and hit the thumbs up button the hit the like button and any comments or suggestions let me know in the video or in the forum and I think that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching